What is up and what is poppin' YouTube gang? It's your girl Kels and I'm sorry for the close up but the reason why I'm this close is because I look disgusting and secondly because my hair is in moisture fucking overload yet again. So I want to take you guys on this journey with me through fucking moisture overload. The last video I made regarding moisture overload, so many people would like send me messages like how do you know that your hair is in moisture overload? What do you expect? What can I do to prevent it? All that stuff. Well guess what? My preventions and all that stuff that I have been taking and my precautions have clearly not helped me and have not suffice because my hair is yet again in moisture overload so yeah the reason why it's in moisture overload and I noticed is because I was going to film a new video of me trying the cream of nature argon oil line and this is gonna be my next video I was gonna do this but then you know my hair decided to be in moisture overload and I was like fuck my life but it's fine. I feel like you guys need to know what moisture overload is and you guys couldn't really see it, but now you guys can. So I'm gonna just talk about moisture overload, why my hair is the way it is, and I'm gonna show you guys the stuff. And I just am gonna take you on this little weekly vlog of my hair prog progressing from day one, which today is Monday the 12th. And then every day I'm just gonna tune into the vlog just to show you guys if my hair is getting out of moisture overload or if it's getting worse. So I'm gonna just update you guys on this little journey and I hope that you guys find this helpful. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is still day one. This is what my hair is looking like. Um, I know that you guys probably can't even tell, but I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just like literally so upset. Really wanted to try this Cream of Nature brand. Like I have the, sh I have the oily hair lotion, the leave-in, and the intense deep treatment um, conditioner. So I was like super excited to like, you know, do that. So like, I started to realize that my hair was experiencing symptoms of moisture overload. One of my biggest symptoms is my hair's bounce back rate. Like, look at this. My curls were so bouncy. That's how you know that it's not in moisture. That's how you know you're in moisture overload. When you pull your strand, okay? And you just pull and it doesn't bounce back. Like before, my things used to, my, my curls used to bounce. But now they're not because they're over moisturized. So look how you see how these curls are very frizzy and then like the bottom are kind of limp. And then when I pull it, you see how this one has a little more stretch? But that's how you know your hair is in moisture overload because see, this one does not want to bounce back. It just wants to break. So I'm literally just like so annoyed because I just don't know what to do. Like I'm so like this close to like cutting my, like cutting my whole fucking hair off and just shaving it because I'm so mad. No, just kidding. I'm really not going to do that. But like, I'm so over it because I'm so tired of always doing my hair and trying to make it look good and just never goes as planned. So my biggest indicator that I was in moisture overload, of course, was my hair. Just look how disgusting this looks. Look how frizzy it is. Like this, I just washed this yesterday. Look how frizzy it is. Look how clumpy it is at the bottom. Like it just wants to gnaw and you see how the curls are kind of like, they're not holding their shape down here. See? Oh, it's so annoying. And then like over here. See how these, okay, perfect. So you see how this curl would bounce? See, cause you see how these bounce versus these? You know, it's because my bot the bottom of my hair is not experiencing as much damage with the moisture than the top of my hair. Mostly because I have been wetting my hair and I have not been washing it. Um, so that explains a lot. <laughs> but um, I'm going to take you guys along as I go through this journey of moisture overload. Fingers crossed that it is over by the end of this week because I cannot deal with this anymore. Like, I literally cannot... So, this is day one, day one. So I washed my hair. So today is Monday, September 12th. On Saturday, on Saturday, I washed my, I didn't wash my hair, I wet my hair, like I did a little co-wash. And then I realized after I blow dried it that my hair was feeling really limp and gross. Then I went to bed. 
Sunday came and I woke up and I was like, oh no. Like my hair was like this. It was awful. I didn't touch it. I was just like, I knew it. I just knew it was off because it, do it didn't have volume and it was just feeling so limp even when it was wet. It just felt so light and fluffy and that's just like not the norm. So whatever. Today's Monday. I didn't do anything to it and I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm leaving it down and disgusting as it is. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm probably gonna put it up in a bun and then I'm gonna try to push it out to Wednesday with another bun and then I pray that my hair gets back to normal by Thursday or Friday. Just stay tuned on this little moisture overload vlog to find out. <clears throat> Good morning, happy Tuesday. Day two of this moisture overload vlog. It's literally 7.05 a.m. and I'm fucking tired. This is what my hair is looking like. I wanted to update you guys. This is right out of the bonnet. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. Still very dry and gross. I think today I'm putting it up in a bun because I can't wear this, this looks so disgusting. I can't do this. But I'll update you guys when I put it up in a bun and when I take it out of the bun to see like how my hair is feeling. But today, it's still feeling dry. It's, I think that I caught it. I think I caught the moisture overload in time. So I think I'm gonna be able to get myself out of this if I just lean away from using products, moisture, or anything so I'm definitely gonna wear my hair up tomorrow and Thursday and fingers crossed for Friday we can wash it together but let's find out I gotta go get ready for work guys so stay tuned when I show you guys what my hair looks like up <laughs> hey guys um still the same day it's day two of moisture overload I decided to wear my hair up in a bun today because no I'm not doing this I'm not dealing with it um, I just watched Steph Pappas video. I don't know if you guys watch Steph Pappas on YouTube, but her dad John Pappas died and Like I literally like cried like he had his own channel and everything like they were just it was just like It just doesn't even seem real like I don't even know them and like that's another reason why I love YouTube so much because you connect with somebody through a camera like I, I, I Actually feel like I knew Steph and like I knew her dad and her family and that's another reason why I'm doing YouTube for That reason so I can build a relationship with my audience, but like that just, wow, I'm just like shook. So, um, yeah, it's like seven o'clock on Tuesday and I look awful, yeah, I was just crying. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that my, I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like. So I feel like I knew my hair was going into moisture overload and I feel like I kind of caught it soon by not, like, not washing it, like, in the time that I did, because I was gonna wash it again, and then I was like, no, my hair feels weird, I'm not doing it. And then when I woke up the next day, I was like, yep, good thing I didn't do it, because I knew that my hair was just completely unbalanced. So, I, again, don't think that this is gonna, this is gonna definitely be a weekly vlog, so I can show you guys like the updates on my hair, but I don't think that my hair is in complete moisture overload. Thank God, like, thank God, because like, I hate when my hair is in moisture overload and I have to like protective style or just like style every day and I hate styling my hair, I just like to wear it down. So, again, I will show you guys what my hair looks like tomorrow and then hopefully Thursday we can do a good little washy wash, but we'll see, so stay tuned. What's up, happy Wednesday. I think that my hair is progressing, um, but I guess we'll see. I have not put any product in it, so let's just take out all these bobby pins and you guys are about to see what's good with this. What's good with this hair? Y'all about to peep. I think I should get up so you guys can see. Yeah, I'm gonna get up. All right, are you guys ready to see this shit? Ugh, I'm not. But we're gonna do it. Okay, I look hella crazy, I know. So surprisingly, yes, my hair still has a lot of knots and stuff. Look at that, I just want to, awful. 
But this is what my hair looks like out of a bun. Still looking a little dry, but not any more dry than it should because I haven't been putting any more product in it. So, well, that just looks wild. <laughs> But honestly, I can see just the, the feeling of my, I can just tell by the feeling of my hair that it's getting at a moisture overload. It's actually, there's no product in my hair right now. No product. I have not put anything in my hair at all. This is just virgin hair. Um, I just feel like the, my strands just feel stronger. They don't feel as much frizzy. Like when my hair is in moisture overload, like to put my hair up in a bun, I just feel like I have like no hair like because I feel like it's so light and fluffy versus now I feel like I actually have some hair to work with so that's what we're looking at um I'm gonna keep my hair up in this little I don't even know what the fuck you want to call this but my little cocoon I don't know but I'm gonna keep this in a, in a little cocoon for the remainder of my day because it is Wednesday September 14th I am not washing my hair today because no, we are gonna push it until Thursday, maybe Friday, I don't even know. But um, I just wanted to show you guys what I was looking like and when it's time to wash, I'll take you guys along with me. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys my hair tomorrow. <coughs> Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I'm so fucking tired. <sighs> like, oh. I think that today is definitely going to be a wash day, so there's no negative progression, only positive. Me not putting anything in my hair is really helping it, so I think today I'm going to wash it. Look at that. But, sorry, uh, I am going to now put my hair up and get ready for work. And then, later on, I'll take you guys with me while I wash my hair. So, stay tuned. Hey guys. It's still, um, what's today? Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. And I got my period on Sunday, sorry, TMI. But, hold that thought. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today's okay. So today's still Thursday. Sorry about my phone call. Um, my hair is actually feeling a lot better because I haven't done anything to it, and I really think that today is a day to wash. So I don't think I'm going to pre poo. Like, I don't know. I just, I was going to, but like I said, I caught my hair at a good time, and I feel like I, I don't know. I don't know. I might pre poo. I don't know. Maybe not. No, I'm not. Because it's actually already like 7.30 on Thursday and I have work tomorrow. But. Yeah. But let's see what she's looking like. She's been up in a bun all day. Probably looks awful. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Look at that. She's definitely looking naughty. She definitely needs a wash, but my hair already kind of feels nice. And I never really like my hair after a wash, so um, I know I'm not gonna like my hair after I wash it. And that's another reason why I don't wanna pre-poo right away. So, um, yeah. The key to moisture overload is when you're in moisture overload, do not do anything to your hair. Do not wet it. Um, don't do anything to it. Um, and then when you finally do wash it after giving it a break, you add in some protein, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add in some protein to this so it doesn't, you know, oof, go into my show alone. Again, but I don't think it's going to. I really don't. I'm excited to wash it. And yeah, I'll be back guys to show you. Hey guys. <clears throat> So I just took a shower and I'm very disappointed at the amount of hair I lost, but then again, haven't washed my hair in about four or five days, so that's to be expected. I did not pre-poo, that's what I decided I did not want to do that, and honestly I'm happy that I didn't. 
but at the same time i feel like my hair this is just after a wash and it's so dry it's so dry and i feel like maybe it was too soon to wash so i'm definitely gonna add some protein and i'm really sad so annoying it's one thing everyone wants curly hair i'm gonna feel it's in my show Ugh. Honestly, I'm just literally so pissed off and Mercury being in retrograde just gets me even more pissed off. So I'm just literally gonna whisk out my hair with like protein or something and no moisture and call it a fucking day. I don't even wanna fucking film it because I'm so mad because I can already tell that my hair is feeling weird. So whatever, I'll just, I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's dry and we'll see if we're at a moisture overload or not, but I really don't think we are fully only because how dry my hair is getting. Like, I don't know, but I'm getting pissed the fuck off, so I'm gonna do my hair, it's already eight o'clock. Okay, I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, this is how we're looking. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. It feels nice after a wash day, and mind you, I don't like my hair after a wash day, but it feels nice. It doesn't feel too soft or fluffy. Like all my curls aren't like, all my curls actually are forming and holding their form. No longer super frizzy, but also again, this is just washed. So we'll see tomorrow after the bonnet. But I was really mad, but now I'm okay. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, this is how we're looking. It's Friday, I don't really care for it but it's not moisture overload so that's exciting i am so late for work so i have to go but i'll be back later hey guys it's still friday i ended up putting my hair up while i was at work because it was looking crazy and honestly my hair is not necessarily in moisture overload but it's definitely something going on with my hair i don't know what is going on i think i needed another haircut but like a real curly cut and i'm trying to work up the um the stamina i'm trying to work up that courage to walk into a curly hair place and be like can you guys cut my hair because bitch i'm scared shit like i'm so scared so i am gonna do it eventually i just don't know when that eventually is going to be <laughs> probably like in the winter when i don't care about my hair and i can wear it up in a bun but um <laughs> I wanted to share this little weekly vlog with you guys in progression of how my hair is looking honestly a whole week and I'm already getting some frizz and it's kind of sad but it's okay because it is what it is it's the weekend so happy fucking Friday when I decide to work up the courage to go get a diva cut curly cut I will take you guys with me on that journey right now oh yeah right now I forgot to tell you guys I'm currently taking prenatal vitamins and biotin um, until that's done once I finish that I'm gonna try to get a haircut Because <laughs> something's going on my hair needs my hair needs some life. It needs some layers because it's looking real raggedy and still kind of bleh But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little weekly vlog on my hair progression and Just in general just spending the week with me. Thank you so much for watching Please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and stay tuned on this channel every Sunday for a new upload every week. Bye